And uh, tonight, still here in Düsseldorf, it's quite late actually, we are talking to Axel, or Paradise Oscar, how should I say, from Finland. Just say whatever you want. My real name is Axel, so maybe, maybe tonight. So tell us the story behind your name. Um, well, Paradise Oscar, it, uh, it came from a children's book uh, by Astrid Lindgren. It's uh, Rasmus and the Vagabond. Mm -hmm. and there's this uh, great vagabond who walks around and plays the accordion. And he, he's a very sp free spirit and just seems like a very happy person. And uh, that's sort of a way of living that I would like to have. So I thought that maybe if I, if I steal his name then I could perhaps remember when I'm older that this is the way I want to live. So would you characterize yourself as being a vagabond? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. sort of a, a modern vagabond, yeah. A yeah. musical vagabond. A musical yeah. vagabond then. Yeah. So how did you come up with the song, Dada Dam? Well, it was... Um, it started with a frustration on these environmental debates that were going on in uh, different parts of the world mm -hmm. and about global warming and uh, environmental disasters and different kinds of stuff and people were talking and talking but no one was doing anything in practice. So I thought this is ridiculous that someone has to do something so I thought I'm, I'm going to write a song about this, uh, this child who tries to save the world from as adults, because we're, we're so stupid, we're just talking about problems. Yeah, that's right. So that's, that's sort of why, why I got the inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Was it what especially for your vision, this song? Uh, no, it was, uh, it was, I just had to get these emotions out because I was so frustrated about these problems. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really important to, I, I felt like I have to do something because uh, I'm just one person and I, I can recycle and live sort of a, a good way myself, but I, I mean, I can't get other people to do it unless I do something else. So I feel like if I write a song, then it help. So, so what was the motivation for you to put that song to your vision? Um, it was, uh, I, I wrote the song and I felt that if, if I'm not going to do anything with this song, then it's going to go to waste, because no one is, I mean, it's not going to do any use, if, it's not going to be useful if it's going to be in the drawer. Mm -hmm. So I thought if I send it to your vision, then maybe someone will hear it and they, maybe someone will get inspired in life and, and try to change their, their way of living and or at least get and um, enjoy the song. So I thought maybe I can make a little bit of change with it. So I sent it and just for fun, but it, it's crazy that I'm here now. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I never thought it would happen. You, you done your rehearsal on the stage today. Yeah. Uh, what was this feeling to be on that stage for you? It was a great feeling. Um, I just uh, felt so natural to be there and uh, even though it's a huge place, it just felt quite intimate and quite sort of a... It, it really felt like I was press I was there and it's when it's going to be full of people it's going to be it's going to be really great and uh, the rehearsals went very well well so uh, mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to have a, any problems. You seem to be very calm, not nervous at all. And, and, and how do you do that? Um, I think it's some kind of uh, energy or uh, just love for doing this because I love music so much mm -hmm. and I'm I'm here because I wrote a song and that's what I, what I want to do. I want to write songs that touch people and that people get that people get some kind of uh, inspiration in their lives so mm -hmm. I'm so happy that I'm here and that's sort of a happy energy which is you know, getting me forward and I just feel like there is no way I could lose anything when I, uh, these many people are going to hear my song. One question I have to about your language, uh, you don't sound Finnish to me at all. Where did you learn that English? Uh, I'm, I've been listening to English music my whole life, so probably from uh, from songs. Uh, it's very clear. Very clear. Yeah, it, is, it is. Tell us, you're 19 years of age. I'm 20. Oh, you're 20 yes. now? Okay. Are you still going to school or what are you doing when you're not singing? Uh, yes, I'm going to the Pop and Jazz Conservatory in Helsinki. Mm -hmm. I, I study singing. and uh, But now I've been having a bit of a break for a couple of months <laughs> making, a, making a CD so. and being in a Eurovision Song Contest. So. Okay. Are you getting a lot of support from your colleagues or your friends? Yeah, yeah, of course. My friends are so happy because uh, I mean, everyone loves music and everyone studies music. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. getting a lot of support. So what kind of a reputation does Eurovision have when you're studying at the conservatory? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot of respect because I don't think everyone have the guts to go up on stage alone and just sing your own song for millions of people, yeah. but um, they're, they're making fun of me, okay. they are. <laughs> Do you believe the Finns don't take it uh, any serious anymore because of the victory from Lordi from 2006? Um, I, don't, I don't think Lordi was, uh, maybe Lordi made the atmosphere a little bit easier, but um, yeah, I mean it's true that people in Finland don't really take it that seriously. That maybe we could, but um, I, don't, I don't think it was Lulu's fault. Lulu was great. It was great that they won. Um, now your song, it's very calm, like you yeah. are. Will there be a, a dance version coming out of this? Are you planning to do something like that? 
No, I don't think so. I think uh, I just, I just, I just sort of want this, this message to go go to people, and uh, I don't think if people are going to dance, then they're going to just dance. They're, gonna, they're not going to listen. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, are you? Do you have any plans to um, release any album? Yes, my my debut album, which I've been working on now this uh, last few months, is going to come out on the fourth of May, mm -hmm. and it's it's entirely so songs written by me. And so, if if you enjoy my my song, then you're definitely going to enjoy my my CD. And I'm really excited about it okay. because it's it's my emotions on a CD. That's okay. what you're going to get. Are they all going to be ballads? No, no, it's, it's not a, a ballad CD. It's uh, it's a it's a CD where, with a lot of uh, stories, with the different kinds of moods, but but it's it's quite calm because I'm a I'm a, I'm a relaxed oh. person, so it's it's a relaxed, it's relaxed. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Best of luck to Finland and to you, Axel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much. And to Paras Oscar. <laughs> Thank you very much.